Hi guys, Rachel CPR here. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for um, making flaxseed gel. I've received a lot of requests for the flaxseed gel recipe that I use. And so um, I'm actually going to scale mine down because I normally make mine in large batches because I co-wash my hair every two days, at least sometimes every day. So I need to have a lot of it on hand. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the recipe that I see on YouTube a lot, which is a quarter cup of flaxseeds to two cups of water. The only alteration I'm going to make with that is I'm going to use three cups of water because I let my flaxseed gel boil for 25 minutes because when you let it boil longer you get all of the mucilage out of the seeds and so it makes your gel a lot thicker and I like for my gel to be thick and so I get everything out which does mean that you can't reuse your seeds because you get everything out the first time around. So that's something that you have to consider with this. So of course what you do is you have to get all of your ingredients and it's good to just line them up so that you don't get like um just like shoveled around when you're in the process of making everything. <clears throat> so what I do is I use again a quarter cup of flaxseed gel, <laughs> a quarter cup of flaxseed and with the flaxseed you can just get it at any local um, nature food center and they sell it in the bulk section. And then <clears throat> we're going to add that to three cups of water and you let it boil. And what I add to the flax seeds in the water while it's boiling is marshmallow root and nettle leaf root. The marshmallow root is definitely an option. It does have mucilage in it as well, so you get a little bit more of a thickening with the marshmallow root added, as well as shine and a little bit of hold that I find that that adds to it. And the nettle root, nettle leaf root, this is the stinging nettle. And the reason why I started adding this was because I was looking at the ingredients in the Kinky Curly Curling Custard and that gel has nettle inside of their ingredients. And so I did some research and I found out that it has really great properties for your hair and scalp. And so I started adding this as well. Of course, both of these things are an option. This right here adds a not so happy smell so you might want to use fragrance if you decide to use that. The other ingredients that I add after I boil my flax seeds with the other two ingredients are aloe vera gel and I add three tablespoons of the aloe vera gel and I also use lemon juice. I use two tablespoons of lemon juice because this adds to the pH of your hair. It balances it out and then I use agave nectar. This is something that I use to increase hold and it also adds great shine and moisture to your hair. You can use the agave nectar or honey. You can use either one of those or both if you'd like to. So of course this is your gel. You make it according to what you want. These are the things that I find that work for me. The other things that I add are coconut oil. I absolutely love my gel with coconut oil. When I made it without the coconut oil, I didn't like it as much. The only thing with the coconut oil is because it will solidify when it's cold and you have to keep this gel in the refrigerator, you have to make sure you mix it very, very well so that it's evenly distributed so that it doesn't clump up and that will make a big difference. And I also found that something that helped was to put in some grapeseed oil or some olive oil in just a little bit with the mixture and that tends to make it so that the uh, coconut oil is mixed throughout the gel evenly and I add a tablespoon of the coconut oil and a tablespoon of the grapeseed oil and that balance um, that balances it out to me a little bit more and I believe those are all the ingredients that I use other than fragrance you can use whichever fragrance that you want any essential oil rosemary oil is the one that I use a lot because it does tend to um, it has a good has good properties for your scalp as far as hair growth or um, if you have scalp problems and if you put essential oils in it, with those two oils, they, it will definitely balance it out a lot better as far as distributing, it, distributing the oils as well as um, making it so that your hair doesn't get dry from the essential oils. Some of the tools that I use when I'm making my gel, of course you need a big bowl to mix everything in. Something that can take heat, because if you put it in a plastic bowl, the bowl tends to heat up. Sometimes I use a metal bowl, but the metal bowl also heats up because you have to strain this gel right away 
I don't use a nylon because the gel comes out so thick, it doesn't go through the nylon for me. And so what I do is I use a strainer. This is a strainer I got from the Dollar Tree. It's been working great for me. It has a nice tight weave, so it holds the seeds for the most part. Every once in a while, you'll get a small seed that'll go through, but usually that doesn't happen. You can just take that out. And a whisk is something that's very, very, very handy for this gel because of the coconut oil. This will definitely, if you're going to hand mix, this right here will definitely distribute everything perfectly. If you're not going to hand mix and use a, and you use a hand mixer, electric mixer, that works out even better. It does make the gel a little bubbly, but um, it settles after a while. Um, the other things that you do need are a container to put it in. I make mine in large containers, large amounts, and so I usually freeze mine. And so I usually get a container. This is an old agave nectar container, and it has a great spout for, I don't know if you can see that, but the spout is great because it distributes the perfect amount of gel when I need it. And I can squirt this right into my hair like an applicator bottle, and so I really like this bottle. And then the other thing you need is a funnel just to pour the gel into once you put it in there. Now this, those are really good to use the funnel only because once this gel cools, it really thickens up. So again, <clears throat> after you boil your products, you add everything. I normally add everything to a bowl, mix it all up together so I have time while my gel is boiling. I get time to just like really mix it up well and just sit and just spend time mixing. A minimum of about two minutes if you're hand mixing it just to get everything mixed really well. And then right off of the fire or the heat source, I go straight to straining it into the big into a big bowl. And then I combine everything. And then I let it cool a little bit before I actually put it into another container. And that's all that I do. And then what I in the end, this is what I end up with. This is my last batch. And you can see that it's nice and it moves a lot. And I just want to show you the consistency of it. It's just really, you can see it going through my fingers where it really holds on. It's really a nice thick consistency. And I really like it. I find that it's the perfect consistency to get um, my hair in a position where it's co very coated really, really nicely and it's nice and protected because it is where I am it's cold and I just I wear my afro all year long so it's I know that I need something to protect my hair sorry and so I've been really liking this right here in the winter months I started adding a, that's when I started adding my grapeseed oil because I was just hoping to have more protection for my hair and it has really been working out I haven't been having any problems with my hair so hopefully this was helpful, and if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask, and I will help in any way I can. So we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.